Easily some of the best smartphones on the market right now, the Samsung Galaxy S10 series devices are all the new hotness. Gorgeous displays, sweet cameras, and snappy performance are just some of the features that these devices bring in tow. However, the software experience is, unsurprisingly, very Samsung-like. Personally, I'm much more of a fan of Google's software choices. So in this video, I'm going to show you how I've turned my S10 into a more pixel-like device. Let's go. First up is the launcher. Samsung's default launcher makes a few interesting choices, such as a large grid and mega sized icons. And while you can tweak the settings a bit, I'd much rather install a third party launcher like Launcher V2 because it gives me many more options with regards to customization. You can download the latest version from Launcher's V2 Telegram channel. To enable the Google feed, just go into the launcher settings into desktop and enable display Google app. Icon packs are a great way to easily customize the look of your S10. I've found the Pixel Pie icon pack to be awesome for getting you really close to that pixel look, but you can also install other icon packs that take a more creative approach to the appearance of your icons. I'm also going to install Google's Wallpapers app since that's what ships with the Pixels. Additionally, there are a few wallpapers that Google ships exclusively with the Pixels, but we can download them at the links in the description. I'm a bit partial to this gradient one. Out of the box, the Pixels ship with a ton of pre-installed Google apps that are very nice, and the S10 also ships with many of these apps. Definitely install Gboard as it provides a very clean keyboard experience. However, a lot of the Samsung apps are set to be the defaults. To better align the S10 with stock Android, feel free to go into settings, apps, into default apps, and change the defaults to Google's offerings. Swap the browser app from Samsung Internet to Chrome, the messaging app to Google Messages, Tap and Pay to Android Pay, and Device Assistance app to Google Assistant. Now, the S10's camera is great, but what would make it better? The Google HDR Plus camera port, of course. In regular fashion, some talented developers were able to compile a working version of the HDR Plus camera for the S10. To get it to work, you'll have to download both an APK as well as a few config files, extracting the files to a specific location and selecting one of the configs in the app. It's fairly straightforward, but we've left a link to a post describing the exact process in the description. Next, we've got a few system settings we can customize to make the experience a bit more pixel-like. First, let's swap the back and recent keys. Under settings, display, and navigation bar, we have the ability to customize the navigation. We're looking at the button order settings here. Next, let's change the lock screen notification style. Still inside of settings, go into lock screen, notifications, and change the view style to detailed. If you'd like to make the design a bit more compact, you can use brief as well. On the pixels, Google is pushing hard for a system wide dark mode, particularly in Android Q. If you'd like to try out a darker theme today, you can do that on your S10. Go into settings, display, and toggle on night mode. It doesn't work in most apps since they don't support a darker theme, but most of the system UI should switch over to the dark side. Well, that's it. If you enjoyed this video, definitely give it a thumbs up as that helps a lot. If you'd like to see more videos like this, feel free to subscribe to the Android Police channel. If you'd like to subscribe to my personal channel as well, feel free to click on my face here. My name is Jackson Hayes, and this is Android Police.